Simulation, and even better than simulation, optimization is a must if you want to be competitive in the automotive world today. You know, uh, uh, many years ago, where efficiency of the automotive industry was not that big, we were throwing tires at the car unless, until the car is working. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that, this is something I learned, is that if you don't know why you win, you won't know why you lose. If you don't know your strength, mm -hmm. okay? So you throw, if you don't know your strength, you don't know your weaknesses. So you throw tires at the car, until the car is happy, but then next year the car manufacturer changed the weight distribution or the differential or the ABS and your tire is not working anymore. Mm -hmm. So um, um, uh, today if you want to be efficient you absolutely need to understand uh, how the car is working as a whole. We are very much into tires but we don't look at the tire as a tire manufacturer, look at it as a car manufacturer. Mm. The tie is one of the most important part. I'm not in love with ties more than aerodynamic or damping or KNC, mm. but that's the only thing is that touching the, the ground. It's in this four little contact patch that uh, all the balance and the grip, and, and it's not about the performance, it's simply crash avoidance mm. also. So you need to have a global knowledge. And uh, the other thing that you absolutely need to do is that what is your customer habit? because you don't drive a car in India like you do in Germany uh, and the roads are different. So the first thing, and, and what does the driver want also? That's uh, things that are very important. Then come where the, the engineering with uh, optimization. Designing a car for a tire or design a tire for a car, you know. Uh, I could hurt a certain time limitation by is your computer powerful enough to digest a lot of information. Like, you know, when you do a, a FEA on tires, it could take one, two weeks before the, uh, the, you have a result that's plausible. Mm -hmm. um, um, look, it's very simple for me. Mm -hmm. You have simulation and you have reality. Mm -hmm. And what I keep saying is that if the two numbers are not the same, at least one of them is wrong. Is it an algorithm in your simulation software or the sensor which not calibrated properly or both, you know? So uh, understanding why the prediction is not matched by the reality is very, very important. Mm. And all simulations are wrong. Mm. Some are useful. You know, I'm, I'm making a life out of, uh, I'm making money out of simulation software. Mm. Still, I will tell all my customers you will always learn much more by measuring than by simulation. Simulation is something which is helping you to walk less in the, drag, in, the, in the dark and also reducing the possibility that you have. But necessarily one day or another you're going to have to go on the track. And All simulations are wrong, some are useful. The useful one are the one you have confidence in oh. and you cannot have confidence in simulation software until it has been validated. So the goal is to understand why the prediction and the reality are different. And we find the loop in a minimum amount of time and iteration mm. so that after a while you gain confidence in your simulation, you don't need to validate every single simulation. Time to time is worth to check. But after a while, when you have uh, acquired confidence in your simulation, then you can start to do a, a good job. But again, simulation, one thing, better is optimization. Because simulation tells you what it is. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a car or a driver, or a car, a driver, or um, a tire, mm -hmm. it doesn't tell you what it should be. That's optimization. Okay. And back to the same thing. Uh, you cannot design a good tire unless you understand the. the uh, you cannot design a good tire unless you understand the car. Oh, That's it. the thing. And the problem is that sometimes. The tire and the car manufacturer are not ready to exchange their most secret and sensitive data. Mm -hmm. And if you don't work in open book, it's going to be very difficult. That's why you have NDA agreement, you know. Uh, it's hoping that nobody will trespass this agreement. Mm -hmm. But um, you, there, you would be surprised the amount of tire manufacturer who understand vehicle dynamics. Very little, okay. very little, and it's about connecting the dots. 
So the biggest challenge for me, there are many challenges, yeah, there are rolling resistance, wet, noise, grip, uh, wear, all these things are very important. But to do a good tyre, you need to understand the car. Otherwise, you could make a patch on a patch. You know, your car is oversteer, put a larger tyre on the rear. And that's not really good engineering. Very simple. It's about reducing the number of iteration. Uh, th that's what it is. I think... Uh, um, no. I'm still very careful about all this AI thing and... Uh, the machine is helping the man or the man helping the machine, you know? So, uh, I think the challenge will be to stay in power of your simulation and mm. not being the slave of your own simulation software. That is, uh, and to do that, you need to understand how you work. You know, I mean, um, what I'm going to tell you is not about vehicle dynamic only. It's about you have three circles, mm -hmm. what, how, and why. 95% mm -hmm. of the people can tell you what they do. We do car, we do tie, we do toothpaste, we do shoes. They can explain how to do that. We use CFD, we have a proprietary uh, flow chart that we follow, a manufacturing process and all. But when you ask them why they do it, there's a problem there. That's 95% of the, student, uh, of the uh, sorry, companies who are going outside in. Okay, mm. the five percent which are successful, they start with the why, which is something very difficult to uh, uh, explain, to um, verbalize, to enunciate why. Because this notion of the circle, uh, why, how, and what, is not only uh, sociology; it's biology. Because if you cut the brain of a man, the part that uh, it's a decision maker. When somebody tell you, I don't know how to explain that. But my guts are telling me we shouldn't do that, or we should do that. That's the part in the middle, that's the why. If you are understanding the why, like what customer want, what the, the, why the car needs to be different from India, or the tire needs to be different, then you can go to the how, and then you can go to the uh, why, uh, to the what. And um, uh, understanding the Darwin, function follow, uh, form follow function. If you, do for, if you try to copy benchmarking another car, another tire, you are concentrated on the function and not on the, uh, uh, on the, you have concentrated on the form, sorry, not on the function. 